I'd like to, I'd like to believe, James, that, that, that we are on potentially on the verge of the next great awakening. I don't say that just blowing smoke. I really honestly believe there are some indicators that we might be in the precursor of, a, a, of the next potential uh, revival. Uh, I, you mentioned a moment ago the states that have voted on marriage. In even this hostile climate, 31 states have voted on it, and 31 states have voted for traditional marriage with a pass rate of 68%. So 7 out of 10 Americans still care about a fundamental definition of marriage. For the first time in November of a year ago, the nation for the first time became more pro-life than pro-abortion. Inexplicably, it swung nine points. Never happened in 30 years. So there are some indications of some kind of a shifting that may be an indicator potentially of the Spirit of God moving within people's hearts and saying, wait a minute, this is wrong. We're getting off course. I, I live every morning, and I suspect you do too, with the belief that this could be the day for the next great awakening. My interest is in history, as I've indicated. So we're taking people on a tour, those that want to go the end of June and July, on what we call the next great awakening tour. I recognize not everybody can go on the bus, but they can tune in by, on the Internet because we're going to be broadcasting it uh, through the Internet as we go to Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Harvard, Yale, Princeton, to the sites of the First Great Awakening and the Second Great Awakening. And my prayer is that will stir an awareness at a deep level in people's hearts. It has happened before. Couldn't it happen again? And the answer to that is yes.